I think it's fair to say that some of the success that tennis is now seeing in Canada is experienced in part due to your leadership during that time. Take us through that time uh, from taking over in 2014. What are some of the challenges that are in front of you at that time? I just would like to start with humbly. Um, the success today is certainly not uh, because of me, but um, thank you. That's very nice, Aku. Um, you know, when I arrived at Tennis Canada, the board said, put your hand up the tiller, the ship's moving in the right direction, and don't change direction. And so I thought, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I mean, I, you know, I want to kind of put my mark on this and make sure that we can make the organization as great as it can be. And so for the most part, the external strategy was actually very sound. So I did have my hand on the tiller and we continued to move in the same direction externally. Internally, I would say the organization was not optimal. So when I arrived, met with all 100 to 150 employees one-on-one, -on -one, every single employee in our organization right across the country, and just said, hey, where do you land on an org chart? And most people didn't know who their, their manager was. Uh, we didn't have a performance management system in place. And so I was doing all of the very unglamorous things um, in my first year, which is really all the internal things. So setting up a financial reporting system, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and we don't talk a lot about that as leaders in sport. Um, we really look externally and look to see on the podium or on the global stage. Um, but internally, if we don't have the internal mechanism in place, we're not poised for growth or future success. So I really did the unglamorous uh, work in my first year. As I said, the, uh, the development system was really very sound. And so then I started to look externally uh, and internationally to say, how do we make sure that Tennis Canada is on the world stage? Uh, whether that's from uh, making sure the best players come to our tournaments or making sure that we're connected with the best coaches, nutritionists, physiotherapists, therapists in the world for our athletes. 